love y'all. We love y'all. We want y'all to get it right. At least get it close to right. I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. So even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Think about that. The most Grammys never won album of the year. That doesn't work. I want to say thank you to the members of the Recording Academy for voting this way. Um, but I know that the way that the Recording Academy voted is a direct reflection of the passion of the fans. So I want to say thank you to the fans. Jay-Z's Grammy Awards speech, Grammy Awards 2024 speech, has gone viral and everyone is talking about it. You wonder, why is everyone talking about his speech? I mean, all I see in this speech was a high sense of entitlement and a claim of racism, which is not reflective of racism itself. Let's talk about that. Jay-Z claimed that Beyonce has had more nominations than anyone else and has had more Grammy Awards than any other artist on the globe. But she has never had an, uh, an award for Album of the Year. I'm not so into music, but I will tell you this. How come your wife gets so many awards and the one time she doesn't get the Album of the Year, you, you get so mad? You're so overly entitled. Why? Why are you so overly entitled? Why do you feel that you are the ones who are supposed to get all the awards? I mean, Beyonce should get everything. Beyonce is not the greatest of all times. There are so many other good artists. There's so many talented good artists who are doing good music and putting it out there. But because they are not at the same level as Beyonce, they haven't got access to all the... How can I put it? They don't have the opportunities that Beyonce has got. They can't be out there. So it is not about talent. It's all about connection. It's all about money. And it's corruption as well. So for Jay-Z to come to the stage and criticize the Grammys and calls it an institution just because he didn't get his way. He was like, <laughs> I've never seen Jay-Z like this. He was like a little kid who has been denied a slice of cake. At a birthday party he was nervous and he was just blabbing and Beyonce wasn't comfortable because she doesn't she didn't really like it and it's the same of course some sort of the same scene that she had with a uh, Kanye West at one time at the Grammys where Kanye West walked on stage and seized Taylor Swift's award and said no he seized the microphone from Taylor Swift when she was giving a speech to acknowledge her award and said no i think she doesn't deserve this beyonce deserves it better it's the same thing jay-z is doing now guys without much talk take a look at this video we love y'all we love y'all we want y'all to get it right at least get it close to right i don't want to embarrass this young lady but she has more grammys than everyone and never won album of the year so even by your own metrics that doesn't work think about that the most Grammys never won album of the year. That doesn't work. I want to say thank you to the members of the Recording Academy for voting this way. Um, but I know that the way that the Recording Academy voted is a direct reflection of the passion of the fans. So I want to say thank you to the fans. <laughs> Guys, I'm loving at the naivety of Taylor Swift. Even though she clapped back, you could see that she was nervous. But then she, she didn't fail to appeal to her 13 year old fans when she said 13 is her lucky number, you know. But guys, this is so wrong. This was, wasn't, I mean, I don't know why Jay Z went upstage to say such a thing. Like, I mean, your wife didn't get the album of the year, but she has had like m more Grammys than anyone else, than any other artist. So why do you want it all? Why, 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 why do you feel bad when other people are getting their accolades? Like he rightly said at the end of his speech, he was saying, people, let them give you accolades, let them call you chief, let them do this, let them do this to you. And at some point he said, 
forget about the Grammys. No, we are not going to forget about the Grammys. Everyone should get the Grammys. It's not just Beyonce and Jay-Z who should be getting the Grammys. Everyone should get it. Everyone should have that opportunity to get an award for their work. Because I know that Beyonce is not the best artist of all time. She's not the GOAT, you know. Maybe at some point in time, but she cannot continuously just stay at the top. Other people need to go to the top. I mean, life is a dynamic equilibrium. Life, it keeps moving and keeps balancing. You, can, you cannot just stay in one position forever. Your time will come and your time will pass. I don't know why most black people are like jubilating that Jay-Z has called out the Grammys and the Grammys are racist, this, this, blah, blah, blah. I know, of course, the Grammys are racist. You pull the racist card at every given opportunity. Yes, the Grammys are racist. But in this case, Jay-Z shouldn't be the one to call out the Grammys because his wife didn't get album of the year what hypocrisy what high sense of entitlement why why is he so entitled i mean you tell me let's continue the conversation in the comment section please you tell me why why should jay-z and beyonce be the only ones to get these awards because i would have been pissed if she got these awards this year they should give it to someone else, not just to Beyonce all the time, all the time. Nah, 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 nah. Let's check the other videos. I love Jay-Z, but I thought his speech was cringeworthy, and here's why. Look, a Grammy Award, what is that? It's a celebration. What's the definition of a celebration? I'm going to read it to you. It's to acknowledge a happy day or event with a social gathering. So it's like going to a birthday party and then complaining. Why didn't you just not go then if you've got a problem with how it's run? I think that would have made more of a statement. Second, is it really fair to shit on everybody else's celebration? I mean, to say flat out that you think that some people that were nominated like don't deserve it. I mean, that's that's horrible, man. Like, why? Why do that? Now, I'm not questioning what he's saying at all, and I'm not questioning the fact that Beyonce is an incredible artist and that she deserves to win the, the album of the year as well. I'm not saying any of that, but just the way he handled it, I thought was cringeworthy. Just my take, don't hate I agree his speech was cringeworthy. How can you try to talk about your wife not getting the, the awards by trashing others who got the awards? Remember, other people are also talented. These people are talented. These people also work hard. They put a lot into their music, into their craft. So they also deserve the awards. But your wife has been having awards like forever, forever. And this time around, she didn't get it. And you were throwing tantrums. Guys, this is not right. I mean, as a black person, you shouldn't be supporting this. If, if he, is, he was fighting for a cause for everyone, for black people's craft and art to be acknowledged, that's something else. But he is literally fighting for his wife. He's throwing tantrums because his wife didn't get the album of the year. Check this out. Okay, so one more thing about the Grammys, then I swear I'm moving on. It has to do with Jay-Z's acceptance speech i know a lot of people don't agree with this but to me in my opinion it felt very kanye-esque and this is why not that jay-z jay-z obviously had a reason to be up there kanye did not and this has nothing to do with taylor okay nothing to do with taylor it was when they panned over to beyonce's face and she was going like, here we go again. And let me preface this by saying, and this has nothing to do with anything, but where I used to work, I had the pleasure of helping Beyonce a couple times in Las Vegas. Now, she is very quiet and I wouldn't say maybe shy, just a very polite, sweet, lovely woman. So... <laughs> When I saw this happen, I think she's so, uh, larger than life. Like when she does her performances and her concerts and things, she is just 
a star and she's amazing and she's out there but I don't think she's super comfortable when she's called out and I mean she knows her husband better than anyone else and maybe she assumed he might say something or they've talked about this but when they panned over to her and she was going she looked uncomfortable it made me uncomfortable and then their poor daughter their sweet beautiful little girl that was up on stage and you could tell she was so nervous and she was so cute it was, it was killing me she was so cute um she was going like you could see she was nervous she's like dad what are you doing and he just kept yammering just talking and talking sorry um but i could tell she was like uncomfortable and from what 